Thanks, Tina. So I was asked if the Micro Pro Grill can do corn on the cob. Um, I don't know. They show a picture of it in the Tupperware catalog that they are grilling corn. So we're going to try it. So the first thing, it's not that time of year yet, so I bought frozen corn and I let it thaw out in the fridge overnight. So I'm just going to take a couple of them out. It does have instructions that say that you can grill corn on the cob. It says anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes and flip halfway through. So it says it'll hold two ears. Well, these are two mini ears. So I'm going to try it with that first. I'm going to put it in the grill position, which honestly isn't really going to matter with this one because they're tall. And the grill position just pushes things down. So either position for this isn't going to matter. I'm going to put it in for three and a half minutes. And then we'll see how it's doing. Alright. Okay, so it just went off at three and a half minutes. We'll pull it out. Just take a peek, because we're going to have to flip them over. I don't see any grill marks. Flip it anyway. Put that grill on it. We'll do it for another three and a half minutes. So while that's going, I wanted to show you. Um, little package of frozen corn that I got held six so I just put the other four into a fridge smart I followed the guidelines with the special pictures and corn must be a heavy breather so it gets opened all the way so I'm gonna put that in the fridge and save those for another time okay the microwave just went off I was downstairs preparing for some meal prep later Let's see what it looks like. Let me get a pot holder because this one is not stay cool. So it does get a little toasty. So let's see what we've got. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is a slight bit of browning going on. So I'm going to give it like a quarter turn it smells really good and we'll put the grill back on and I'll put it in for a minute and we'll see what that does Okay, let's see what it did. It's definitely sizzling away. So, on the top, you can see just a slight bit of browning. Maybe I can show you better, I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. So just a slight bit of browning. And there's nothing on the bottom. So obviously it's the top grill that's doing it. So I'm going to spin it around. And try one more time. You can hear as I put the lid to that brittle on there, sizzling away. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, here we go again. So again, it is starting, gosh, I don't know. you can see the browning right there, and then there's some browning. So just the longer, and here's some browning, just the longer you leave it in, you'll get those brown marks, because they're showing. So it's just, it's just about the length of time. Um, I think these are probably cooked through by now, so now it's just however long you want to do to make it brown so that you believe that it's grilled. I would like to taste it, but it's hot. And you know, so I'm going to say that it will just continue browning the longer you leave the grill lid on it. So I hope that helps you. Um, I think it's going to be delicious. Corn in the cob is always delicious. So I will just leave you with that. Thanks. Bye.